In today's video, we're going to deep dive into geometries and see how they help facilitate us in creating a mesh. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlifts and welcome back to my channel as well as this wonderful series, Learning React 3 Fiber. So far, we've learned a lot on how to use 3D elements in the browser. And if you want to follow along, I highly recommend watching this series from the start in the playlist. Okay, so let's get going. If you can remember, we created this animated box. And this is a component over here. This component exists of a mesh and inside a box geometry, as well as a mesh standard material. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to copy this and replace my animated box. I'm going to remove the reference because I don't want this to animate at all. And I can take this import out as well as remove the color from this directional light. Now let's go back to our scene. We can see our mesh being made up of the box geometry and the standard mesh material. So now we know in order to create one mesh, it needs to wrap a box geometry or any geometry and any material. If we go and look at the documentation and we go to your first scene, we can see that this is exactly how a mesh is created and added to the canvas. And if we jump over to the 3JS documentation, we can actually go in there and search for geometries. When we go down, we will find it over here. Looking at the simple box geometry, we can see that here it is. And we first create a box geometry, then we create a material, and then add these two to the mesh. I hope by now you know how this kind of works in 3JS and how React 3 Fiber makes it easy for us to kind of have a parent and child relationship doing the exact same thing. The implementation is quite straightforward and as you can see in 3JS we get a wide variety of geometries that we can choose from. These are simple base geometries. But what makes up a geometry? To explain what a geometry is, I'm going to make use of Blender and this cube. If we select this cube and I go into edit mode, as well as switch to wireframe, then we get to see an x-ray version of this cube. And in fact, we can see all of the cube's geometry and what it's made up of. Geometries exist of three simple things, and those are vertices, which are these points in 3D space. We also have lines, which connects the vertices, as well as faces. The combination of these three concepts is what makes up geometries of 3D objects. This is the skeleton of any 3D object, and we can manipulate it. For instance, if we take one vertice and move it around, we can see that the geometry of this cube has changed. The cube's geometry is quite simple and also considered to be low poly. If you look at a character's polygons and geometry, you can see it's way more dense and focused because it has a lot more curves and design. Later on in this series, we will look at how to import models and work with models as well as their materials. But for now, I'm going to switch to the material view. And that is because I want you to understand that the geometry alone will not make up a mesh. It is the combination of a geometry as well as the material that wraps it that gives it its look. If we focus on our weird cube right now, we can look at the material that it has on. It has the standard material and we can change the base color. Let's make this a blue cube. Soon we'll take a look at materials in depth. But for now, let's give our material in the code a color as well. I'm going to make this color blue. Now you can provide a hex color as well. And if I go back to my application, we can see that here is my blue cube. And if we want to see the wireframe view, 
we can simply turn the material to wireframe. If we have this on, we should see the geometry that makes up the cube. Something that I want you to pay attention to is the faces. Now, basically in our Blender example, the faces was a square, but in here you can see it creates triangles. And the reason for this is that the browser just simply works better when it works out triangular shape geometries. Now we understand what geometries are and how materials helps facilitate the appearance. And together, this creates our mesh. Now, 3JS provides you with a lot of base geometries, such as capsules, circles, cones, and you can implement them all in React 3 Fiber. The only difference will be, instead of Pascal case, you use Camel case. So, if we want to create a cone, we would say, give us a cone geometry. We can save this and look at our application. And there is our cone. Here I want to mention that you also have the option of using Dre. We've discussed Dre before, and if we go down to the component section, Dre provides us with shapes. And keep in mind, these are meshes. So if we want to use the torus, we can import this from Dre. So torus, and then let's go ahead and add our torus over here. If we go back to the application, refresh, there we go, there's our torus. I'm just going to clean this up, remove the torus, and let's leave our mesh in here, because next we will be explaining materials a bit more. So look forward for that video. However, if you enjoyed this video and you now have a better understanding on geometries, please give this like button some love, as well as comment and subscribe so you don't miss any content. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. See you in the next video. Cheers for now.